Hey guys, it's your girl Eva Dacious here, and this is Eva Dacious Loves, where we talk about the things that I love to talk about, which happen to be beauty unboxings, my fragrance journey, and other things that come to mind. If you're a returning subscriber, hey guys, thanks so much for coming back. I'm so glad to see you. And I really appreciate you coming back and clicking on this video. If you're new, welcome. I hope you tend to stick around. We have a lot of fun here. And go ahead and click the like. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video get out in the algorithm. And like this channel because you're going to like it. We do fun stuff here. So as you can see from the title of this video, we have us another celebrity blind haul after Christmas sale edition. <laughs> so guys, this will be my last haul for sure for the year. My son is like, you've lost your mind. <laughs> so I can't buy anything else, no more perfume for the rest of the year. So what, that's a few days from now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but um, let's get in. I mean, these sales guys at the stores are just like, amazing for these gift sets. I don't know. I'm just learning about this. Well, I guess I never paid attention. You know, um, like I said, I'm not normally out shopping. And when I do, I wasn't like, I wasn't focused on this. Now I did um, buy some, <clears throat> it might not come though till after. I don't think it's going to get to me till after. The I did buy me a couple, few last palettes for the year. Um, from Ulta and Sephora as part of their sales. Just some I had really wanted and had my eyes on and they went on sale, so I picked those up. So um, I did get a little bit more makeup and I'm still waiting for my Ipsy and my BoxyCharm, which are both on their way. I am on the fence, y'all. I still have to make a decision. I, I mean, I like Ipsy. I'm pretty sure I'm keeping Ipsy and I'm not so sure about about boxy charm <laughs> so i don't know guys i have to make a decision though soon about that but let's get in to see what we got here i'm just gonna go and grab bags most of these are celebrity scents i'll tell you where i got them from and then there are a few that are not there's i think two that are designer all right let's get in here affordable designer well yeah so, the first one I have, I got from Burlington. Like, Burlington, I happened to go in there. I wasn't even going to go in there. I went to M Macy's backstage because I had a gift card. And then, I was on my way to Marshall's to return <laughs> that Twilly, y'all. That's the first time I've returned a perfume. But I was like, I'm going to see if they'll take this back. And they took it back. <laughs> so, I went to Marshall's. But in between there... It was Burlington. I'm like, well, let me go see if Burlington does anything like this on sale too. And man, when I say they really, they really put their gift sets on sale. They really did. And in fact, one of the gift sets I got from Burlington, I had just bought it from Macy's and it was like half the price. So I bought it at Burlington and took it right back to Macy's. We'll get into that when I get there. All right. So our first scent that we have here today is Dazzle by Paris Hilton. I got this at Burlington, and man, was this such a deal. I mean, look guys, I paid $11.99 for this whole gift set. First of all, this little cover is so pretty. If you're like a big Paris fan, this would be such a great thing. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not like a huge Paris fan, but I mean, I think she does good when it comes to perfumes. And so this is what the gift set looks like. Now, this is my second fragrance from Paris. The first perfume that I got from Paris Hilton was Eris. And I love how Eris smells. It's such a pretty scent, but it gives me a headache. Like, I've worn it twice now, I've sprayed it twice now, and both times I got a headache. So, it, it does that for me. I might have oversprayed. I tend to be an oversprayer, and maybe I just need to take it lighter because I hate to have not be able to use it because I really like it. But I'm hoping it's not something about how she makes her perfumes that makes me feel that way. So that's what I hope. But this is so cute because for $11.99, guys, I got a, this is a shower gel 
and a lotion. I got a purse spray, which is great because you know these celebrity scents tend to need some backup support. And this bottle is so cute. Now what got me thinking I would like this, actually I read some reviews really quickly. I mean, I don't sit there for a long time. I am shopping, <laughs> but I did see a lot of good reviews and it's a cherry and I don't have any. Well, I should say I don't have anything with cherry because my Lolita, I believe my Lolita Lentica. I believe it has cherry in it. But yeah. This is that. Now I know some people who are really big collectors would probably keep all this, but I'm not gonna. This is a cute box though. Like honestly, maybe I should put this box away somewhere for like gifts for gifts. Like if I have somebody's birthday to give. This is like really nice. Oh on, this is a nice box. I'm gonna keep this box. Like it's actually something you could give to somebody for their birthday. <laughs> Alright, so. Here's what it looks like. I think that's such a cute little bottle. Nothing, you know, too fancy, but at least decent. I wouldn't mind having this out. Very simple. Let's see what this smells like, guys. You see how I already changed my hair because I could, it was doing so many different things. <laughs> Well, I know what the problem was, is I didn't do the whole process I really need to do. Just straighten it first, then twist it, then do it. It's like a whole thing, and I just didn't have the time the other day. So, once I don't do it right, it doesn't come back. This is nice. I can really smell the cherries. So, I, I'm sorry, I was starting to say what the notes are. So, the notes here, our top notes are sour cherry, peach, and red apple. Mm. There's a middle note of orange blossom, orchid, and violet, and the base notes of vanilla, champagne, patchouli, and musk. This is nice. I don't get a strong patchouli smell, which I like. Mmm, I like that. I should have sprayed it again, but I'm wearing actually. Mm. Okay, so let's. That's a good. Let me test that. I smell nothing. <laughs> I like that. This is nice. This is like you can really smell the cherry right from the beginning. And the champagne. And the vanilla. This is nice, guys. I like it. I don't feel a headache. I don't have the headache. I mean, when I tell you that other one, I get a headache like immediately. <laughs> this is good. I like it. Let me put this away. I'll be getting confused. That is Dazzle, Paris Hilton. This is pretty. This will be really pretty for the daytime. Wait a minute. Nope. There kind of goes a little bit of a headache. <laughs> I got to see what. I, I, it's, it's there a little bit, guys. All right. So. By the way, I put on, when I went to the store, I smell nothing. I smell it in my shirt though. So today when I left, I put on SG, SJ, SJP stash un, unspoken. I mean, I layered, I put on the, I shook the shower, I put on the lotion and I, it smells beautiful in my shirt, but I do not smell it at all on my skin, on my wrist. I only put it on my, well, no, I put it under my hair too, but. Of course, I'm going to be able to smell it there, but I don't smell it on my skin at all. And that was probably about, when did I leave here? It was almost like three o'clock and it's almost eight now. So, but it smells very much, you can smell it in my clothes and it smells pretty, but on my skin, it's gone. Okay, um, next. We have Jessica Simpson, I Fancy You. This was also $11.99 at Burlington's. Y'all know I like a sale. And in fact, I mean, I got these three for the price, like I said, they weren't going to charge me for the one at Backstage, so. Let's see if you guys see what I got. Uh-oh. Okay, so. <laughs> these boxes 
boxes, guys. They ain't putting these in here. <laughs> My lord, don't tell me I broke it. <gasps> it broke. <gasps> it won't come out. <sighs> okay, it's okay. I thought it broke it for real, for real. It just came off, but it's on there. Man, oh man. <laughs> man, I got a horse crook in my neck. <laughs> I thought I fancy you and I fancy you one. Can't use this box. I'm going to have to tear all these down. Yeah. Can't, use, can't reuse that one. All right. So in this one, we have I fancy. Uh, this is fancy love. Did I say I fancy you? This is fancy love. Now, you guys, I got I fancy. So this is, I believe, the third one. I have fancy. I have fancy love. Fancy, I fancy you. And this is fancy love. Now... I got the small bottle. It's going to bother me. And they did have fancy. And I probably, should, I don't know. <laughs> I don't be wasteful. But you guys, I got a small bottle of fancy. And even though I think that bottle is enough, I'm, it's going to bother. It bothers me that these, the two other bottles were this size. And I want the sizes to match. <laughs> and then is that funny? Like, like I have... I have the 3.3 like crystal noir and I feel like now I have to have all 3.3s. I just, when it's a certain brand and it's a flanker, I want them all to be the same size. <laughs> so this is Fancy Love and let's say like, what did they say about Fancy Love on Fragantica? I want to pull this up and make sure we got the right notes here. Maybe I should do this live one day. What do you guys think? Do the little scratch and sniff because there was a couple of fragrances guys. I was that they had, and I just was trying to be responsible. There was a couple, it was really hard. I had a couple in my hands, like they had a couple sets that I wanted. So this is fancy, you love. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Now this feels closer to fancy then I Fancy You. Fan I Fancy You was like really like different to me. And this feels really close. I like this. This has top notes of champagne, peach blossom and bergamot, middle notes of frampagini, fran or fran frangipani, <laughs> frampagini, <laughs> frangipani, jasmine, peony, lotus, rose, and base notes of amber, musk, Woodsy notes and patchouli. How come sometimes they're like woodsy notes? That must mean somebody doesn't know what note what note it is, right? Because sometimes they actually say that kind of wood, and then sometimes I say woodsy notes. What's that? This is nice. I like this one. Hmm. I like Jessica Simpson's fancy. You know, I was wondering the other day, I was thinking, you know, how people, we know we talk about celebrity sense versus designer sense. But guys, is Jennifer, is Jessica Simpson really a celebrity perfume or a designer perfume? Because the girl designs everything. She got clothing, shoes, she got sheets. Somebody gave me a wine glass of hers. Like, I, I really wonder, like, is she more a celebrity sense or is she a designer sense? You guys let me know down in the comments your take on it. I mean, I get that she has her success. She entered into this world as a celebrity. But come on, she hasn't been famous for, like, music or anything. <laughs> For a really long time. You know, like J-Lo still comes out and sings. She's that war show. She's doing stuff. She, you know, she's in her field and puts out perfume. And now she's sometimes devils in the shoes. And now she's in shoes again. But Jessica, for about the whole time my son been alive, almost 20 years, right? <laughs> she's been doing 
clothing, um, sheets, and all that stuff. So I'm I'm pushing back, and I'm gonna say Jessica Simpson is a designer. <laughs> You can argue with me down below, though. We can talk about it in the comments. Let me know your take. Okay, so next we have... I'm just grabbing the bags, guys. So, well, it's like I was saying, I went to Macy's. Well, should I just stick with Burlington? I'll just stick with Burlington. I don't, I'm going to take us through different stores. We got one more from Burlington. But it's funny that I was moving to Macy's. I'm going to just bring Macy's up because these two are related. So first time I went to Macy's backstage, I had a gift card. I thought I had more on the gift card, but I didn't. I thought I had $30 on the gift card, but then I had like $18 on the gift card. <laughs> so I pick up this perfume by this celebrity. This set, I've been wanting this perfume. I thought I had the perfume, guys. I even, I thought I had ordered it. And then what happened? I thought I ordered it and it turned out I didn't order it. I even had it in my perfume journal. Yeah, guys, I journal. I, I keep a journal of the perfumes that I have in my collection. Um, you want to see? Yeah. Like I write down the notes and I uh, do a little notes on them and where that got them from and all that kind of stuff. You guys want to go through it one day, I'll show you. But yeah, so I had this picture in there because I thought I ordered it and then I didn't. I didn't come. So then <laughs> I'm at Macy's. I saw it was there. I go to go get it. It was like $35 for the gift set. And I thought, it's not really bad. I've been seeing, watching this set and in different places. And it was a little bit more expensive. And it even ran a little bit more similar on fragrance.net. But then I get to Burlington. So I bought it. I had to put though like another $27 with it. And then I get to Burlington, which I, I'm still trying to figure that part out. And... <laughs> I see it at Burlington, and it's there for $14.99. The same set. Sort of not as big, but the bottle was the same size. It was just like different packaging. The packaging was is more compressed, where this other one, the package was bigger. But it literally was the same. I don't even think the shower gel and the lotion were bigger. I could be wrong. So I bought it at Burlington and went back to Macy's. Took that back. They gave me my gift card. Gave me my money. Cause put the, put the other 27 whatever back on my charge. And then I found something that was only $2 more than my, um, than my gift card. <laughs> so I got that. But the thing I found, and it's kind of jumbled up and messy, but we'll open it up and get it together, is Steel by J-Lo. Yeah, it was $14.99. And it was $35. It was like $35. Yeah, $35 at Macy's Backstage. And it was the same thing. And it wasn't, they didn't even put, Backstage didn't go on sale. And then I thought, maybe sometimes Macy's after Christmas will put some of the higher name brands on sale. But they didn't. They, was, they still had the gift sets. They hadn't put them on sale. Like maybe, a, and maybe a week or two from now they will. I don't know. But they didn't have them on sale. Which I remember them used to, they used to do that. And I guess backstage are like, that's the price. We're not putting it. They didn't. Sometimes they put stuff on clearance on backstage, but they didn't. Bottle's fine. I heard really good things about this. Uh, one reviewer that I watch, um, Veronica says, she just talks about steel a lot. Well, two times I've heard her talk about it. I'm like, don't really exaggerate how much she talks about it. But I heard her talk about it twice. That's my receipt. I gotta break all these boxes down. It's a mess. But let's smell this. I've been really wanting this. I just feel like this is gonna... This is one of those highly anticipated fragrances for me. That I've wanted. I told you guys. I used to love J-Lo back in the day. I had Glow and Miami and... That's nice. I mean, I know I didn't like um, the Lux, Jade Lux so much. It's not that I didn't like it. I just wasn't, I wasn't impressed by it. I should just put it that way. 
But this, this is nice. Let's see what they say the notes are in this. Now the main accords for this are white floral, green, fresh, fresh, spicy, floral, citrus, fruity. I get that, this is good. So the top notes, Earl Grey tea, white pepper, mandarin orange, apple, rice, jasmine in the little, middle notes, or jasmine, lily of the valley, freesia, honeysuckle, rose, orange blossom, and the base note is more pepper, just pe regular pepper. Musk, iris, sandalwood, and amber. Mmm. <laughs> I like this, guys. Mm. Yes, J-Lo. Mm. This is good. Well, this isn't J-Lo. It's Jennifer Lopez. This is one of those ones where she goes by Jennifer Lopez. Nice bottle. Now I've seen different kind of bottles. I mean, if there is this little, little kind of gradient, I think this might have changed this formula at one point. Oh, it's interesting. So the where the writing is is not how you see the name. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work for you guys that way. Oh, it's so pretty. I like this. All right, that's Jennifer Lopez still. Yeah, I remember these old cups, McDonald's. I had to get these when they came out. <laughs> All right, I told you guys sometimes I collect these things. All right, oh, the Macy's. So what was the Macy's thing that I got? This is actually a good deal because I just looked at it again. I looked at it on fragrance.net and it's a couple of things. It's about the same price, but I got it for a few dollars cheaper. And that is Beauty by Calvin Klein. I got this for $19.99. So I didn't have to really put nothing towards it. I don't like that. I had used the rest of my gift cards. I was using them to buy people gifts. This is Calvin Klein Beauty. So this will be my second Calvin Klein fragrance that I'm adding. The first one that I got was, um, I'm sorry, it was um, Into You. I didn't even spray it yet. So this is this one fluid ounce, which I'm finding is really all I really need from anybody. <laughs> we have so many. And I get so fickle. When I put on perfume, like I, I never like wearing the same thing too much. Mm. Okay, that's good. It's a white floral. It kind of reminds me of Michael Kors a little bit. It's a white floral, floral musky and woody. This is nice. I like this. Top notes are amberette, musk mallow. Middle notes are jasmine and bases Virginia cedar. I don't know. It smells good. Um, this is nice. I like it. What do people say it smells like? Because for me, it smells like tender. Uh, now, people here are saying it smells like ja Glam Jasmine by Michael Kors, which I almost picked that up because it was at, um, it was on sale. And it, some people say it smells, sounds like souffle, but most people say it smells like ten Tendra Jasmine by Yves Rocher. I, 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 I picked up Michael Kors immediately. Um, yes. I like it. Do some people's bottles, okay, so somebody said, so this must be reformulation because somebody said something about the cap being the top being a silver top and not a crystal top. My, my, this person says, I noticed that my bottle does not have a metal cap, nor does it have metal around the edges. The new all glass bottle is quite pretty and elegant. This is pretty. Mm, 
This smells good. I like this because I think I like jasmine. Like I, I smelled um alien when I was at Macy's. I definitely want to get it. I thought it smelled beautiful. Mm, I like this. So that's beauty. I don't know what this to say. I, I like it a lot. Um, yeah, it gave me a Michael Kors vibe. And that's by Calvin Klein. And I like that bottle. It's very pretty. All right. So last, I believe this is the last one for this haul. It is. Um, so I took back my first time taking back anything. I did take back toy. I was so glad they took it back. I was glad. I just really didn't think I would want to wear it. Like, I just really didn't like that smell. That was Twilly Pro. Let me be clear. It was Twilly Pro Vensu. It wasn't regular Twilly. So. Yeah, that's everything. I right, So, I've been wanting this. And then I found it on sale for $29. I got Burberry Touch. At Burlington, it was on Clarence. They had, I am um, not Burlington at Marshalls, so I was able to take that back. I only had to put a couple dollars to it, and I was able to get like half my money back, which was nice because I had a gift card anyway because I returned a gift. And I'm so glad to get the big bottle of this. It's a funny story though, guys, as I was getting it because actually that's a good price. I just looked at Forganica, for I just look at fragrance.net for this, and a tester with no lid was still going to cost you about 30 something dollars. And so I got the Eau de Parfum Burberry Touch. Burberry is one of my favorite houses so far. Like I, I'm kind of committed to getting almost everything from them because I haven't gotten a scent from them that I don't like. Now I only have two. This is my third set. <laughs> but hey, they're on a roll for me. So let's, and I actually did get to, this isn't quite a blind. This isn't blind actually quite blind because my niece got it for Christmas. It's one of her Christmas presents. And she sprayed it briefly, but like I can't remember what it smelled like to be honest with you. But I do remember liking it. Hmm. Just trying to get like all I don't think I'm supposed to get an aquatic scent, but I'm getting something in there. I'm getting some kind of, okay, fruity, woody, I'm getting, I'm not getting fruity, woody, white floral, I'm getting a white floral, fresh, sweet, warm, spicy, aromatic, floral, vanilla, soft, spicy, that's what I'm getting, I'm getting spice, I'm getting the white floral for sure, and I'm getting some aromatic, that's what I'm getting. And so this is top notes, or red pepper, cassia. Blackberry, cranberry, black currant, rose oil, orange, peony, peach, lily, tuberose, lily of the valley, jasmine, and raspberry, cedar, oak mocks, vanilla, green almond, and tonka bean. Yeah, this smells really good. Mm. I like this. So... It's so funny. Like, I never thought I got what air. I, I totally understand aromatic because that's what it smells like. It's almost like. Mm, I like it. I like it. I think it's a good kind of um, everyday kind of scent. Happy with it. I'm very pleased to have added to my collection. I like this bottle. I'm glad I got this big size. I mean, I think I got such a huge deal because I think she had the, I know she had the smaller one and she probably played the same amount of money. So what are my favorites? This is harder. I think one, I'm happy guys with every scent here. There's no scent that I did not like. In fact, they're all, I think they're all good. And so let me do our little in the moment rating, it's a little hard this time. I think I will say for sure, I'm gonna put, keep in mind I like all these, but I'm gonna put Dazzle at the 
bottom. Um, it's sweet and very pretty. Yeah, it's sweet and pretty, but I'm, um, but I'm pretty at the bottom. It's just sweet and pretty. Then I'm gonna put Fancy Love by Jennifer Simpson or Jessica Simpson. I'm gonna put Beauty. Then I'm gonna put Burberry Touch. And then I'm gonna put Steel by Jennifer Lopez. Well, I like Steel better than Touch. Yeah. These are all good. This was a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna finish off and put Steel. I really like that. So yeah, guys. So that is my lineup. Um, let me see if I can get me a good little picture in here. <laughs> All right. Well, let me know what you think below. Do you have any of these scents or any of these your favorites? What celebrity scent do you think I must, must try? Or what scent in general do you guys think I must try? Um, like I said, I have a huge list that I just keep adding things to. I do have a few more coming in that are coming in the mail, and I'll be sure to share those with you. Uh, one is a celebrity scent, but um, it's another one where I'm questioning whether they're a celebrity or a designer, but we'll talk about that. But yeah, let me know what you think on that too, guys. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. Have a good one. Bye.